I am at the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering and my research area is uh, autonomous systems. What I have created is a system called uh, Smart Seeder and primarily this is for seeding broad acre crops like wheat or barley or canola in large areas. The real magic is in the control systems. That means how you command the steering and the wheels of this entire system so that it actually follows this path that is commanded to it. In this rough ground, it travels with a lateral accuracy of about one to two centimeters. That's a, that's a great achievement. There are a lot of vehicles that go from point A to point B with a certain degree of accuracy, but we have surpassed all those accuracies in the real field uh, circumstances while carrying an implement that is at the back. To my best of my knowledge, it has not been achieved before, so, and this is why this technology is actually patented uh, through the university's uh, commercial lab. Everything was from paper to paper to product, uh, was born out of uh, UNSW mechanical engineering. Dialysis is a system that's used when you have kidney failure and your kidneys can no longer filter your blood, so the blood has to come outside of your body and get filtered via machine. The way it comes outside of your body is via a needle that goes into your arm and another needle to return the blood. There are problems with dialysis in that this access to your blood can become blocked up and this can cause a lot of trouble for dialysis patients. We have designed this flow rig where we have two needles in here that are going into what is a representative arm of a patient. One of the things that we've seen is where the blood goes back into your body, it comes out of the needle in a jet and impacts onto the side of the vessel wall. And so you can imagine that if you have the needle very close to the side of the wall, then this jet will impact str quite strongly on it. What we're hoping from this work is that we'll be able to produce some guidelines and so we may be able to decrease the amount of failure and hopefully make life a little bit better for the people on dialysis. This is uh, what's called optically accessible diesel engines. So it's an engine, it's uh, running like a real engine. This optical diesel engine is in fact the only available engine here in Australia. So we call it Australia's first optical diesel engine. We can see inside a conversion room to take images and movies of what's happening inside. And by taking images and post-process those images, we can get an idea of why pollutants are forming inside the engine during the conversion process and if there is any way that we can improve the efficiency. Another value of having this kind of engine is instead of testing new kind of fuels, alternative fuels, ethanols, biodiesels, in the existing system, we can test out those fuels in an optically accessible engine, get a full idea of what is going to happen inside the engine room, then we can implement that uh, new kind of fuels, alternative fuels in a real engine. People are concerned that if you put an ethanol into the engine and then actually it increases the uh, pollutants. But in fact we found out that it has less problem, likely less problem than the gasoline engine. So ethanol might behave pretty well in your engine. At the University of New South Wales School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, we have a wide range of manufacturing facilities and testing facilities and many of them are very unique in the world and are the most advanced in the world. So we can use them to uh, fabricate and to measure and to understand, to explore the properties of the surfaces or materials we manufacture here. For example, we have developed new technologies to minimize the breakage of wafers, which is very important for the production of integrated circuits which have uh, reduced the cost for the industry in million dollars every year. We have also developed new technologies to uh, manufacturing hip joints, which can last for much, much longer time for the current uh, product. We have tried to use carbon nanotubes to develop uh, bullet resistance materials for the security use we produce glass lenses for uh, camera and for optical use. We have invented new cutting tips which has a wear resistance of more than 70 times than the current product. I think engineering uh, in the University of New South Wales is very advanced and it's leading in the world in many areas. So I have been traveling all over the world 
probably uh, networking with many of the other uh, leading laboratories and researchers in the world. So we communicate and then they have given us a very high ranking in terms of our uh, international standing in this area. My research area belongs to Design Analysis and Simulation Systems Research Group within the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering. And currently we have a project uh, related to crossworthiness with the Cooperative Research Center for Advanced Composite Structures. Crossworthiness is, uh, is to, in a simple language actually, it is to protect a person in terms of a cross situation, having some components there which can have a progressive failure but the person is safe. This is a carbon fiber composite tube and here we will try to compress this tube and see the failure mode, how it is happening and what amount of energy it is taking. I think we are doing the state-of-the-art research in terms of uh, nationally and internationally. We have substantially contributed to the uh, literature, the new knowledge and uh, new research into this area of composites. And that's the ultimate aim for us to see that it is something we uh, design, we calculate and come to the laboratory and make sure that it is working. That's the fantastic moment.